Hey you all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is a list and explanation of all of my favorite products from Dermalogica. So if you were looking to check out the brand or you just wanted some general skincare advice and like a good place to start, this video is for you. Before we jump in, hello, I'm Sophie. I'm a makeup artist and an esthetician here on YouTube and in real life. I own a skincare and makeup studio named Sophie Marks Beauty Space. It is my pride and joy. And most, if not all of what I talk about here on YouTube is influenced by my experience working on clients as well as my own finicky skin. So if you'd like to see more beauty related content from the perspective of an esthetician, I hope you will subscribe, it's free. And um, anyways, let's get into the video. Now I'm not going in order of like least favorite favorite to favorite favorite, I'm going in order of like a skincare routine. Links to every product I mention will be in the description box and just note that those are affiliated so I do get a small kickback when you use that link, which I totally appreciate. But I don't work for Dermalogica and everything I'm recommending to you today is stuff that I use on myself and in the treatment room. So anyways, let's get into it. So the first thing on my list is something that is also the first step in every single one of my facial treatments and what I use on my own face first most days if I'm being good, and that is Pre-Cleanse by Dermalogica. This is the pro size, by the way, not the retail size, but it is available for retail, and I do recommend it for home use. I also low-key think that if you're not using Pre-Cleanse, you're not getting like as clean as you could be, and you're not priming your skin for cleansing effectively. The International Dermal Institute did a study, which I will link down below, I'm just paraphrasing, but basically the study shows that there is oil-based debris on the skin which pre-cleanse removes because it has a lipophilic end to the molecule and water-based cleansers are not as good at removing those oil-based debris. Um, so things like actual oil that our skin secretes, um, ingredients in our products and makeup and stuff like that and like just debris that gets caught on your face from just like living your life. Pre-cleanse is amazing for taking off those things, especially if you are a makeup wearer, you need pre-cleanse. It is the best makeup remover and first cleanse ever. It's the best oil cleanser ever. So it's an oil cleanser that actually rinses clean. I'll put up some footage of me using it and showing you what the texture looks like once I add water. Basically you apply this to your skin dry with dry hands and then you work it in just dry, then you add water to emulsify, it turns milky, and then it rinses off clean. Unlike basically every single other oil cleanser I've ever tried, which is just oil that doesn't rinse off. This is high maintenance, but also an important investment for me. I use this as a first cleanse on my makeup brushes. A lot of my makeup brushes are expensive, so it's just worth it to me to take the best care of them that I can, and this gets all the makeup out of the brushes in one wash and then I can follow up with special cleansing gel or dish soap and then my brush is good to go. Anyways, back to the face. In simple like metaphorical or analogical terms, you have to sweep the floor before you mop it. Pre-cleanse is sweeping and then your water-based cleanser is mopping. So you're gonna get a better clean once you've removed surface debris and oil-based debris with pre-cleanse. Using pre-cleanse is also slightly ritualistic for me. Like if I have a lot of makeup on and I'm like so not in the mood to take it off, I hate removing my makeup. I despise it because I only wear waterproof mascara. It's like a whole other topic and I hate taking it off. But if I like am massaging pre-cleanse into my face and I'm smelling some of the essential oils in there and then I take a warm steamy towel and just gently remove my makeup. I do this with white towels so then I can bleach them. It just feels so nice. I'm a workaholic as much as like self-care is like a dream that I'm selling people as an esthetician. I'm sure other estheticians out there can relate that like it's so hard to take time to care for our own skin and, and ourselves and like just having that ritualistic moment is great for me with pre-cleanse. And also when I start my facials off with pre-cleanse, clients are always like, Mmm, that's so nice. And it just kind of like sets the tone. Anyways, even though this isn't like the first skincare item you need when you're starting on your skincare journey, I can't live without it. Comment down below if you're still with me after that whole pre-cleanse spiel. My next favorite is Active Clay Cleanser. And I don't even use this on myself, but I recommend it to oily skin clients a lot who 
are not necessarily the best candidates for like salicylic acid, which is an active that helps to minimize oil in the skin, but can also um, lead to things like over exfoliation and irritation. Although I do love me some salicylic acid and when used in the right concentrations, it does have an anti-inflammatory effect as well. So salicylic acid is great. So I'm not like one of those anti-acid people. But let's say I wax an oily skin client and then I have to wash their face because they're also getting a facial. So I'm not gonna do a salicylic acid cleanser over a face that I just waxed, but I do wanna treat their oily skin. So I would go to something like this that has soothing probiotics, which help to balance your skin's microbiome as well. And that contains clay as well as like a botanical complex to purify the pores and absorb excess oil. I tend to be drawn to any product that's able to solve a problem like that, you know? And I like to think of like every situation that my client could be in when I decide to like stock a product either for the treatments or for retail. So if you have super oily skin and you need something that's gonna be more calming but still oil absorbing because let's say you're on a sunny vacation, then I also wouldn't recommend salicylic acid. This is great to take on a hot sunny vacation because the heat does make us more oily, but salicylic acid in combination with sun exposure, not ideal. So something like this is fantastic. So the product we just talked about is ideal for a specific situation, oily skin, you know, and a different approach than salicylic acid. Great. Now this next product is something that I recommend to literally every single person I know, unless they have some sort of allergy to it, and that is daily microfoliant. It's really rare that I say something is like, good for everyone. This product truly is. It is truly gentle but effective. You can use this closer to the eye area than other types of exfoliants. You can also use it on the lips. You can use it every single day on your face if you wanted to. Daily Microfoliant has a rice base and when it's moistened, it releases phytic acid, which is super brightening and exfoliating. It also has a really low percentage of salicylic acid in here, like, um, obviously ask your doctor if you're pregnant, but my pregnant clients use this. You can also mix this in with a cleanser if you wanna create an exfoliating cleanser. I wouldn't mix it with pre-cleanse, I would mix it with a water-based cleanser. This also contains pineapple and papaya enzymes, which are super effective. They munch away at the surface of the skin. And while brightening is something that truly takes time, you will get an instant smoothness from this. So if you have an event coming up, if you're getting married, this is a great buy. If you have sensitive skin, but you're an adult who wants to see results with your skincare so you still need an exfoliant, this is a great buy. If you want an exfoliant that you can literally use anywhere, this is a great buy. I also use this on my bikini area in the summer when I'm getting a Brazilian wax regularly, and it's gentle enough, but helps prevent me from getting ingrowns, and it helps brighten the area as well because I am prone to hyperpigmentation. If your skin is more oily, thick, acne prone, and like not super sensitive, you're definitely a candidate for like a stronger exfoliant than this, but a lot of my acne clients still have have this. I think actually like almost all of my clients have this because it just makes the skin so smooth and healthy. This is just a great part of like any healthy skin routine. So if you're watching this video because like maybe you have a skincare routine but you're looking to kind of like up your game a little bit by investing in something like Dermalogica, um, I think Daily Microfoliant is a great place to start because when you're using an exfoliant like this, you are gonna start seeing more results or you should start seeing more results from your serums, moisturizers and stuff like that because your skin is so much more primed for absorption when it's exfoliated. And again, you get the instant smoothing and you get the brightening from this product and a little bit of pore clearing because of the low level of salicylic acid in here. So clients of multiple genders also love this. I had this guy come to me recently who was getting married less than a week out of his appointment. His appointment was Sunday and their wedding was Friday. So he had some ingrown hairs on his neck. So what I did was I cleansed, I exfoliated with this, and then I released some of 
the caught hairs with like a needle nose tweezer and then I did red LED, a nice mask, and I finished off with like some Arnica gel to really calm it down. And I sold him a mini Arnica gel as well as a mini daily microfoliant for home use leading up to the wedding. I told him to do it once a day or once every other day. And I know the makeup artist who worked with that couple and she reached out to me to say that the treatment I did on his skin made it so much better and I have to give part of that credit to this product because he was using it at home following his treatment. So it's just so versatile. It truly has a place in like literally anyone's skincare unless you have an allergy again. Real quick, how you use this is very specific. If you're using it on its own post cleanse, then what you're gonna do is keep your hands wet, shake out half a teaspoon, add a couple of drops of water if you need to, and then rub it into your hands to create a paste. Then you can work the product in circular motions all over the face. Don't get it directly in the eyes. Don't get too close to the eyes. You can go over the lips with this and then rinse it off in warm water. You need to be careful keeping this in the shower because you don't want water to get inside the product and like basically just create a paste inside the container. I haven't had an issue with that, but just be careful. I do keep mine in the shower because enzymes work really well with steam. So basically when you add steam and moisture, it activates the enzymes more. It's fantastic. It is worth the hype. It's not overrated. I love it. All my clients love it. So anyways, I know that's like a lot of information, but like welcome to my channel. The next one I actually have at home and I'm at the studio right now. So I'll put a picture up. It is Dermalogica's Age Bright Clearing Serum. I think this serum is great because it addresses your skin's clarity. So it clears breakouts and it brightens your skin so it helps with post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation as well or PIH. PIH basically is a dark spot that's left over after your skin has experienced some sort of irritation or swelling, i.e. a pimple. So post-acne marks, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, same thing. So this serum has what I find to be a very effective combination of salicylic acid and their TT complex. I'll put the full name on the screen because I can never remember it. And it really helps to keep the skin clear without drying it out. It is truly an adult acne serum and that is my specialty. So I try lots of products for adult acne and this is still one that I use on myself and that my clients are loving. So even though I've tried so many products for adult acne, I love this one for the multifaceted nature of it in that it clears and brightens at the same time. It does the job. Next is the Multivitamin Power Firm. This is an eye cream. Um, I've wiped it down with alcohol so many times that you can't see the label, but I need a new one for the treatment room because I was using this tester and it's like almost totally out. So I love that this product is really smoothing under the eyes and it's just great for prepping for concealer. And it has vitamins A, C, and E in there without being irritated. I do have an esthetician friend who told me that some of her clients get irritated with this under their eyes. I haven't had an issue with that with any of my clients as far as I know, unless I'm wrong and you're watching this, let me know down below. Be careful if you have sensitive skin, but if you're interested in an anti-aging eye cream that also looks really great under makeup, this is a really good one. The next one I'm also gonna have to put on the screen and that is Calm Water Gel. This product, I have a hard time recommending it because it's expensive for like something that's essentially just a hydrator. Um, but it also makes a fantastic moisturizer. It has three different weights of hyaluronic acid. So I feel like it is deeply hydrating and it also leaves your skin with a really nice glow. The texture of it is so lightweight. It is Dermalogica's lightest weight moisturizer. It's the lightest weight moisturizer I've ever tried in my life, but it's so deeply hydrating. So for that reason, it's great for adult acne. It's also great for people with like sensory issues who like don't like to feel like they're a thick layer of something on their skin and my fiance adores this product. So Christina, my fiance, doesn't like skin smoothing cream, which I'm about to show you because it's thick for her. And she says that like if she wears it at night, it like gets on her pillow and gets in her eyes and like I don't have these issues. But for somebody who is really low maintenance with skincare, which Christina totally is, um, if you don't want something heavy, but you want something that really hydrates and again, just is not heavy, like does the job without like making you feel like you have something on your face, 
Calm Water Gel is fantastic. Dermalogica does say that the smaller the container, the less of the product you need, and you truly don't need a lot of Calm Water Gel, but people still do run out of it really quickly. I wish they would come out with a bigger size of it. Now, I used to wear Calm Water Gel more, and like, it worked well underneath makeup, but I'm curious, like, how good it would be in like a morning of the wedding situation if somebody shows up with really dehydrated skin. Um, it would probably help because it has the low molecular weight that penetrates and the high molecular weight that like sits on top and gives you a nice hydrating barrier. I don't like to use really active skincare in my makeup kit, but I think that one like should be fine. It does have apple in it, so I would have to check if anybody has an apple allergy. But anyways, I love Calm Water Gel. If you want something super light, super hydrating, or something that you can layer underneath your more creamy moisturizer to give you an extra layer of hydration, then Calm Water Gel might be something you wanna check out. Next is Skin Smoothing Cream. And this cream is a little bit heavy for oily skin. Like if you're oily, I probably wouldn't use this. This has a Hydra Mesh technology in it and hyaluronic acid to really help like create a net on your skin that prevents moisture loss. And I do find that when I use this, my skin just like looks so juicy and amazing. I love finishing off a facial with it. I've never had a situation where it like stings or irritates the skin. Whereas Calm Water Gel, or honestly like any gel, that can happen because, I think because water raises your pH and when something has such a small molecule and it absorbs so quickly, your skin is just experiencing too much. It's experiencing like a spike in pH and like a really um, quick absorption of something. That's just my theory why sometimes gel moisturizers burn a little bit. Comment down below if you've ever experienced that. And I've only ever had that happen on like compromised skin. Like my fiance has really sensitive skin and she loves calm water gel. Anyways, back to skin smoothing cream. This is a very reliable cream. It works on a lot of skin types. I would say normal to dry. It's not their heaviest moisturizer, but it doesn't have oils in it. It does have a combination of fatty alcohols that can be problematic for acne prone skin. But when I use this in the winter, I'm totally fine with it. My skin's not oily though. So if you're looking for a medium weight cream that is just very hydrating, moisturizing, reliable, and locks in moisture, this is a great one. Whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, I have clients of like literally every decade who use this and love it. So it's, it's a nice one. And last but not least, we have Invisible Physical Defense. Sorry, most of my stuff is in the pro size packaging, but I will link to like the retail ones down below. This is a physical sunscreen that truly does blend out. At the end of the day, it's still a zinc based sunscreen. So it's going to go on white at first, but it blends so much more easily than any other mineral based sunscreen I've ever tried. I've used this on clients with deep skin tones and I find that it does go on white, but if you take an extra moment to blend it out, it is pretty invisible. Um, I will link a video of Jackie Ina. Jackie Ina did a video on this a while ago and it looked great on her. So you don't just have to take my word for it. Another issue with zinc based or mineral sunscreens is that they oftentimes feel heavy. And I don't feel that this one is heavy at all. It's not designed to be a moisturizer. You do need a moisturizer before you put this on. So that's something that's like a little annoying. It's an extra step, but it's such a nice product that I don't care. I enjoy putting it on. It feels luxurious. It does feel a little bit sunscreenish, but like I'm an esthetician. So I like love that anyway. So I've explained how this is superior to other mineral sunscreens, but like, why do we need a mineral sunscreen to begin with? I will tell you. Mineral sunscreen is literally soothing on the skin, whereas chemical sunscreens can trap in heat. They're not bad to use. The one I use as my daily sunscreen is a sunscreen moisturizer with a combination of physical and chemical sunscreen and I don't get any irritation from it. And I still find that I get some soothing benefits from it because it has that zinc present in the formula. This one is purely physical. It's purely zinc based. So not only are you avoiding potential irritation from a chemical sunscreen, Zinc oxide is literally also calming, like it actually does things to calm your skin. And I have had clients report to me that their skin is less red or irritated when they use this. So a lot of clients will use my 
um, oil-free SPF 30 moisturizer from another line that I carry during the summer and then switch to skin smoothing cream plus invisible physical defense for the winter time when your skin is naturally drier. I would be remiss to not end this part of the video by saying that sunscreen is arguably the most important step in your skincare routine. Sun damage will cause a lot of the things that we don't want, like wrinkles, spots, enlarged pores, and skin cancer. So if you're looking for an SPF that's kind of like a no-fail, like will work for pretty much any one option, Invisible Physical Defense is a fantastic option. So that is it for my list of Dermalogica favorites. Let me know in the comments if you were particularly intrigued by any of these products or if you have any questions. If you're interested in a personalized skincare plan, I do offer that service virtually. If you're interested in that or you live in Jersey and want to try out a facial, my booking link is in the description. Subscribe if you want to see more. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!